Hey data fans, Reed here. Today I'm excited to share with you yet another update to the visual canvas in Power BI. Thanks to Miguel Myers and his team working hard on getting us all sorts of new visuals and feature enhancements. Now, as you can see in front of us, we have a new type of line chart where we actually have a legitimate smoothed line as a line style, plus also some staggered data labels that can actually be offsetted. And even in addition to that, we also have some custom data labels that I will include in the conversation in this video that came out a few months ago as well. So we're gonna walk through each of these features in turn, explore how to implement them and utilize them. So let's go ahead and hop into Power BI, get started. So for this video, I'm utilizing a visual that I had built previously where I have a line chart that actually lets us utilize the selection over here to be able to then change the analytics line based off of any of the adjustments that we have here down at the top. But overall, if you were curious about this, I do have a related content page that always talks about the other videos and mentions their links in here to go explore some of those. So that information will be in here if you download the file from my blog page. But for this video, I want us to explore how to set up some new features for this line chart to enhance and improve it. So to start, I'm going to come up to the format pane and I'm going to go down to the line options down here and we'll have a line type actually, where previously we only used to have a join type where we could choose between mid or round or bevel. And honestly, that was so insignificant as far as the observation of how this actually changed the line points that it really didn't do that much. But now we can come down to line type and we have an option of linear and step was another one we've had historically, but now we have a new one called smooth. It's also referred to in some tools as a spline line, more of a spark line. Now I love this type of line and I have been waiting since day one in Power BI for this to come out because it just looks so much better as a line style for me at least. And I think in a lot of the reports that you've observed, that smooth line really goes a long way with those soft edges. So that's one thing that we have as an immediate upgrade. Now, if we close out of this and we come down to data labels, we have another couple of options in here as well. There's a new option to turn on or off called leader lines. And if we turn that on, and then let's go ahead and change the offset to a minimum of 10, you can see that it now adds an offset here for any of these data labels to then be moved away from the line if we wanted to add a gap between them and to create a bigger distance between both the line and the label. So you have control over the min and the max here today, and that's another easy option you have to turn on. Now, before I move on to the data labels, I do wanna pause for a moment and just mention that I do offer a lot of training services for these kind of features and more, both for basic and advanced training. I have five total days of training with a sixth day of training coming soon for fabric related tools. But if you are interested, please check out the link in the description below for some of the consulting and training options that we do provide. And with that being said, let's get back to the report and walk through how to implement custom data labels. So down in here under the value section, we're gonna scroll down and notice there's a new option for custom labeling. All I have to do is turn that on. I can add any data field down here, either through clicking the add data or coming up and just dragging and dropping it. So in this case, we can instead do like sales month over month if we wanted to. We could do the month over month percentage to show how much that was month over month. Now I have personally created a sales amount and month over month concatenated value in DAX, which is gonna be added into here. And if we wanted to, we could even come up to here and set up a rule set as well. Now I've already gone ahead and added that on the very last one. So I'm gonna to come to that tab down here to showcase that. And I'll come back up to the conditional formatting and open up that menu again on the data labels down here, scrolling down, go into the values. And that basically just has two rules where if the number is greater than zero, show green. And if the number is less than zero, show red. And that is coloring them above and below. But what we have is then a label that is concatenating both the value and then in parentheses, there is the percentage that it is going up or down so we can add additional value into our labels. Now the calculation in here that is leveraging this is using a string formula that I had used in a prior video. So again, if you are interested in that, check out that related content sheet down below to see how I've implemented this and also how to implement this in a custom format string as well. But for this video, it's a nice way to utilize this onto the data labels themselves. Now, the last thing that I thought to try for the field list here, as I mentioned, is I did think that maybe I could leverage field parameters. Now, the problem today with creating this, a field parameter, for every one of these comparative values to then show in the labels 
is that it does not return the actual value. It instead returned the name of the field parameter. So the custom labels today at least do not support field parameters, but I'm very confident to think that Microsoft will want to be exploring the ways to incorporate field parameters with this as well, because that is such a powerful feature on its own separate from this. So hopefully these guys will blend those two items together very well in the near future. Overall though, you got to learn about three new features with the smooth line, you get the label offsets, and of course you get that custom label formatting. And hopefully with the last part of that, field parameters does become something they integrate in the future. But otherwise, I just want to thank you for watching the video. Drop anything in the comments down below for any suggestions or comments for future videos. And as always, don't forget to like, comment, or subscribe. Check out some of our related content in the upper left. And otherwise, I will see you all in my next video.